Hello boys and girls. Uh, give you a short video of the Barry Mobile as it is now. There you go. Now you can see. You can see everything but my little dog's nostrils. Sarah the Jean. <laughs> She's a dandy. Anyway, getting more dust on it now than whenever it was being sanded on every day. Right. I got the door latches in it. There's not much more than a pipe cleaner and a uh, can opener. I uh, got my shift knob all nice and glittery. It goes there. And I need to do some stuff under here. Uh, been, uh, man, close as like a who knows. Me and my wife put the hood on it, so naturally we skint the paint here, skint a big knob right there, and jibs and jabs and knots all over it, but I've got a cure for that. Today, instead of getting it running, I put on some more shiny. So, I put my shiny grill and bumper and stuff on. Polish, been buffing and polishing the stainless most of the day. Which if you've ever done it, it's not a good thing. Excuse me. And uh, got to get me some eyeballs in it. And uh, comparing the grills. Sure, Gene, I know you want chicken. Calm down. Southern dogs love chicken. I don't know what the deal is. But here's the grill of the 49s and 50s. It's all straight across. Pretty cool stuff. And uh, I scooted the bumper back about four inches on this one because it stuck out like a big knot. Kind of like this one does. It sticks out. But this one here, they originally had one of them big ugly crests in the middle and then a propeller on that little bullet there which looked like a little kid's car. But going down the road, it was uh, had bearings in it, and it would turn and twirl down the road, which was, you know, pretty cool. So keeping with my little customization a little bit, I put the Crosley over the thing, kind of like a 49, 50 model Ford. And the car, this car is a 51, I would believe. And uh, that's a 51 grill. This is a 49 to uh, 50 grill. You see that big medallion in the middle, which is kind of pretty. But since it don't light up, I didn't like it too well. You know me, I got different ways. But anyway, I'll just show you the difference. The headlights on the little uh, the little worm wagon I put weird ones in it naturally well naturally for me hey sit there and I'll go turn the lights on Me, by golly. 
I'll show you what's left of the engine on this one. You've seen a few slidios of it. It's still in there on all its goober glory. And they said this thing was a Briggs and Stratton, but you can see it's not a Briggs and Stratton now, by golly. I'll just make the regulator a Briggs and Stratton. There you go. But you can see the size of the dead burn generators and things. And uh, they're supposed to have baffles to duct the air into the radiator. So originally they're made out of cardboard or something less than cardboard and they rot off but I put these in from some plexiglass made into mirrors and when it's all cleaned up believe it or not it kind of reflects what little shiny it's got into the engine. Another one of my goofy ideas. Now I'll show you the one under here, but since I got the darn thing put together, it's going to be extra hard without a latch to get the thing open. Nope, not today. But anyway, one of the corners I cut on this is the uh, gravel guards here. They're really hard to get, and they don't make them anymore. So I just fired up some plexiglass and trimmed it like the old one. It was crumpled up, and I painted the back side of it with the car paint, and that made it look really, really deep and shiny. And, uh, you know, I made that for about three bucks, along with making the rockers out of an old stovepipe, or a brand new stovepipe. Well, you rascal, what's the matter with you? There you go. Anyway, these things wake up in a new world every day. Well, that's actually a piece of stovepipe down below that door. Being something that they can't get anymore. And my plastic gravel guard in the back. which painted the same way on the back side. It looks like it's got 30 coats clear on it, but there it is. Now, I've got these tail lights trimmed out, and I don't know which way is best. I've got the black trim around this yarn, and I put a little chrome trim around this yarn. Now, if somebody would tell me which way to go, I would be so greatly happy. To figure out which way to go because I, I can't make up my mind. I like both. Here it is through the back glass of the, all the interior. Ooh, look. Great. It has acres. Well, it has inches of room back here. And uh, that's about it. Uh, this one's not going to get a chain steering wheel. It's pretty hard on your fingers, come to find out. But I have other plans for the interior, and uh, I'll show y'all when I get along. Get along, little doggy. Okay, that's it for me and my little puppy too. Say good night, Shirley Jean. Good night, Shirley Jean. Okay, thank y'all. Love you. Be careful. I can never get this turned off whenever I want.